Co-creation is not really a very new idea. Okay? It has been existing ever since human beings and plants and animals existed. They have been co-creating all the time. So only, I mean, only recently in the last 20 odd years that we, we say, hey, why can't we not learn from, from nature? But having said that, there is something more substantial in management that is very important. Ultimately, countries need to work with other countries. Con cultures need to collaborate with other cultures. People need to co-create with other people. And the question is why? Okay, the question is why? For several reasons. As our world becomes more populated, and the resources that we have on this earth are that, that, that more limited. And there are more competitors for the same resources today as they were 50 years ago. Further, as the countries, the, 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 the borders begin to fall, the walls, the rules begin to be uh, loosened, more people are engaged with each other, traveling, trading, working, uh, uh, doing business. So from a Danish perspective, I think we, we are necessarily not a huge country, but we have some very specific skills. And our specific skills are inherent in our education system where we learn how to work with groups right from the beginning. We are, we are bilingual, even whether we, 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 we believe it or not, we are bilingual folks that we can go anywhere in the world and really communicate with, with the rest of the world. And these are very good advantages. Now, in, for, in relation to India, why should it be necessary for us, a smaller country, to, you know, kind of engage with this very large, complicated, complex region of the world where even I, being an Indian, am surprised about my own country. I learn, I can never make any standard uh, uh, arguments about India because I'm learning about India myself. So what is that I can bring to a Danish uh, audience? I think two or three things. First, we in Denmark should actually look at India as a complex environment. And this complex environment is very different from ours. Ours is a more sterile, uh, very organized environment. India is a chaotic environment, very complicated, very complex. And in that, there are opportunities. Because in the complexities, there are diverse number of people who have very unique interests and needs. And we don't have to sell to all 1 billion people. But if you can just sell to 100 million people and find their unique needs. And as Danish, we understand the things, that things begin with small actions. We understand smallness. Okay? We are not necessarily big all the time. So if we understand smallness, if we can target on 100 million or 50 million people who have very specific needs, that is a huge opportunity for us. Okay? So therefore, I think, and in order to find this niche, we can't just fly in into India and say, okay, now I need to understand India. That won't work. You need to fly into India and work with people in many ways, co-create the need, identify the need gap. Where is the need gap? Which are these very niche people that I want to target to? You can't, as, as a country that we are small, we can't target to the whole of India. We simply don't have the capacity. So we should target at small regions, small population, 100 million, 150 million folks, and we should target their need. For that, we need to do need analysis. We need to do, we need to find out where the need are, where the gaps are in needs. And for that, we need to engage people. And one, one tool to engage with them is co-creation that I've been studying for a long time now. And there are three things which are very important for co-creation. One is that Co-creation assumes, okay, that there is a preeminence of experience. What does that mean? It means that it shifts the focus from knowledge to experience. So that means that as an engineer, I don't want to work with another engineer, but I, as an engineer, would like to work with somebody who has got experience around a particular area that 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 needs my expertise. But that person need not necessarily be an engineer. He could be a he could be a truck driver, for instance, or he could be a teacher, for instance, or she could be uh, a pilot, for instance. As long as the experience around which we want to explore new opportunities, okay, are similar. So co-creation focuses the the, the 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 emphasis from knowledge to experience. 
The other important aspect of co-creation is that it, it creates new trajectories. It creates through the gap, need gap analysis, it kind of creates new opportunities to target very niche groups. The collaboration creates new opportunities in a different way but along the same trajectory. Whereas co-creation creates a new trajectory altogether. Look at India in as small little, uh, small fries, small fishes, small bits. Take India in one eatable bite sizes and chew it properly. And that chewing of India is not more than 100 million people, 50 million people. Start small, start what we can handle. Okay, don't look at India as a big country. Yes, it is a big country. But look at big country, people having small needs. And when you target these small needs, you are likely to get very successful. And, and I think this is a very important insight that I think we, we need to, uh, because the media always talks about hundreds of thousands of millions of people. Yeah, sure. But we cannot target all these millions. We don't have the capacity. We have the capacity for kind of looking at the niche and we can target the niche and then we can be successful because we, we have the necessary wherewithal to address that need. Okay, and that need will expand because India is expanding. Okay, it's the youngest country on the world in on earth today. Yeah, the average age is around 25, 27 years old, right? So that's the second thing which I think. And the third very important thing is that try to refrain from evaluating India from your experience of culture. When you engage with India, you have to reformulate your entire cultural understanding of how people live and act and behave. So if you look at India from your own understanding of culture, then you're likely never to be successful. So forget your own understanding of culture, try and learn and develop a new understanding based on the Indian's point of view, because they are the people you're going to sell it to. So once you understand that, then you can mix, you can co-create that understanding with your own and get something very interesting. And that is what co-creation is about. It's about creating new understandings, new forms, new trajectories, new markets, new opportunities. Not, it is also about collaboration, but once you have an idea what to do, then you can collaborate on the solution. But till you have an idea, co-creation is about finding, exploring new problem sets finding, exploring new, new, new ways to address niches and, and such like.